with CV curve or cyclic voltammetry um, curve for a electrode uh, reaction or half cell reaction, if it is reversible, we can sometimes get some kinetic information, useful kinetic information. Let's say if we have a rapid charge transfer, which means the reaction is not controlled by activation. Um, the current and the electrode direction rate, current and the reaction rate are controlled by diffusion, no stirring in the solution. Then let's say we have the CV curve, CV curve, and you can do the CV at different um, uh, voltage scanning rate, different scanning rate. For example, as we showed here, 20, 40, or 80 millivolt per second, different scanning rate. And then the peak potential, the peak potential, as you noticed, a will be independent of the scan rate. That's what people find. The peak potential will be independent of the scan rate. That gives us a very important uh, um, f feature that we can use to determine the um, kinetic and some, some kinetic and some dynamic information. Specifically, the standard electrode potential. If you have the reaction to be highly reversible and controlled by diffusion, then the standard electrode potential would be half between the anodic peak and the cathodic peak. The standard equilibrium potential would be half of the anodic peak and the cathodic peak. Okay, and then the peak current, we have positive anodic and uh, negative cathodic. The peak current should, under ideal condition, be the same. The peak current should be the same. And then if we are dealing with specifically dilute aqueous solution at room temperature, uh, 20 degrees C, and uh, the number of electrons transferred, the number of number of electron transferred, what people find is between the anodic oxidation and the cathodic would be 0 0.0592 volt divided by N, the number of electron transferred. So if you do this CV curve, you don't know how many electrons are transferred, but by the separation from these two peaks, you would know, okay, the, the um, number of electrons transferred for this and half cell or electrode reaction. Okay, the other one is um, for aqueous dilute solution at room temperature. The peak current depends on several things. N, the number of electrons transferred. C is the concentration for the reactant. D, the diffusion coefficient. V is the scanning rate in volt per second. So if we have this, we would have the a simple relationship between peak current and these parameters. And if you measure the peak current, and uh, we should be able to deduce information such as D, diffusion coefficient, or C, the initial concentration for the reactant or the analyte of interest.